Hey there, how's it going? It's been about a week since I made the video. I have not passed, I have not ceased to exist, but I do have some exciting news. Uh, we are having a baby, I'm becoming a dad, my wife's becoming a mom, that's pretty crazy. So we're shipping a baby, but we are back. I'm still on this journey that you guys sent me on, uh, kind of learning NeoVim and switching over. And let me tell you, in these past two months, like I've been so grateful because Arch has been fantastic so far with these like window managements because this was always a struggle in Windows if you've ever used Windows. It's like everything's a mess, right? All the windows are on top of each other. It's looking nasty, okay? So here, super simple. You just have your action key and you do T, boom. There we go. You got your terminal popped right up, right? You need maybe a browser, boom. I can do the same with F. Can do a quick screenshot as well, boom, just like that. Uh, but I wanted to have the same experience with NeoVim. Now, I've been one of those pleb boys that have been on VS Code for years and years, and I got too comfortable in a bad way with it because I feel like I wasn't too excited about like adding new plugins or trying new shortcuts out because I didn't really like VS Code at the end of the day. Uh, I used IntelliJ before that, and before that, I actually used something called Brackets, which was made in JavaScript. That was, gosh, horrible. Uh, but. It was pretty cool at the time, but NeoVim kind of like sparked that interest in me. So I thought in this episode, we'll try out a bunch of file explorers and see kind of which one we like. So for opening the file tree, you see a lot of them use usually the space key and then E and then space and O to focus on that. Uh, but I'm not really a big fan of it. So I kind of reconfigured it to be on the a backslash here for me. And this is the first one I installed. So as you can see, I added a bunch of them here. Oil, we have Yahtzee as well, uh, NeoTree, mini files. So this is mini files that we're using now. Now, what I like about it is I, I messed around with it a little bit, is that it uses J and K to navigate, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the pop-up though. I'm not sure if you can con configure it in any other way. Uh, but another thing I noticed is if, if you hold down the bloody H key for half a second, it like absolutely teleports you back a thousand years in the past. Ready? I promise you, half a second, I'm going to hold this down. Whoa, where am I? Jesus Christ, how can I even get back there? I guess I can just tap back like that. But then if I close it, will it still be all craziness? It is. Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> Other than that, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like th that you can do like O to like go to a new line and then I can make a test.txt, txt, ts, what was that all about? But I can just pretty much add a bunch here, right? Test two, like that. And then I can just write it like that. It's not even working. I'm gonna give it an eight. If you like bubbles, this is a high nine. Now the next one we are going to try is called Yahtzee here. And for this one, I actually, we were already having a bit of friction. Uh, you have to install, I had to sudo pacman install this separately uh, because it works outside of NeoVim as well. Uh, let's see how this feels. So I put again backslash. I'm going to keep this backslash on. We can navigate with JK and then expand again with L so I can go to the file. And to actually open it, enter. Looks like I don't mind enter too much. It feels a bit far away, to be honest. I feel like we could do something better for that. I'm not sure. What would you recommend to actually like go in the file? Would you just do L again? I guess that would make sense, right? You go JK and then L in the file. Enter feels still like good to like give us back. But yeah, this one feels good. I'm sure you can like make the preview here a bit nicer looking and kind of limit the size of this uh, to something smaller because you wouldn't need that much space. Uh, but I like how this feels. I want to see if I can also configure maybe adding like get icons here as well. So to create files, you do A here to create. So test.txt, there we go. And then to rename R and then delete for D like that. And then you can still like grab stuff. So I can do yank for Y to copy it and then P, 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 C to paste it. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. I can also select it with uh, V here and go up D. Okay, so that does work really nice. Okay, next up we have oil and this took, this was super easy to set up also to configure the Git icons. And let me tell you, this one feels really good. I think we might have a winner, I'm not gonna lie. So set it the same where you do backslash and boom, look at that. You can see your files, backslash again, it just brings you up a level, boom. I can go back in 
you can also create files super easy. Boom. There we go. Go to new line. Boom, done. Save. It even pops up like that to tell you, hey, you want you, you sure you want to create those? Yeah, baby. There we go. And then it says it doesn't set up nice icons so far, but you can actually see uh, that it tracks them. So I can also do yank here, boom, paste it two more times. I can move these files around. I can cut it from there, paste it there. I can undo, reverse, undo, 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 undo. That's okay. This is it. I'm not going to lie. I think we might have a winner. Now, one thing I might say if I had to nitpick here. I feel like it might just be a little bit more difficult to kind of see your project structure, right? When you have a kind of like a sidebar like this and you get to see all the files or even how we kind of saw it with um, Yahtzee, you can still kind of see the whole structure very easily. Whereas here, if I go in this folder and then go in this folder, well, you cannot really see the whole structure, right, of the project. Uh, so I wonder if there's a plugin or something. Uh, you guys let me know. But I'm gonna, I, I might stick with oil. We still got two more, I believe, that I wanna try out. So we're gonna try out Neo3 as well. Go back to oil. We'll comment this out and give this a go. But let me know, please let me know with oil uh, if there's any cool plugins to extend this more out. Okay, Neo3, if you're coming from VS Code, this is probably gonna feel the most natural. So again, I put the backslash in as to open this up. You're still within that file, so you can kind of see what's going on. But again, you use JK here to navigate. You go into the file, hitting enter. I'm here, I can do backslash to pop back. And it's just super easy to kind of see your whole project structure while also maybe doing a quick edit. But Again, generally speaking, like for jumping around in files, I use telescope, so space FF uh, to go maybe over to the plugins oil like that. And then what I actually want to set up is maybe space space so I can just double tab that quick to maybe open the existing buffers. So because right now that's on space FB for me. And there we go. These are the actual buffers that are loaded up. But again, pretty nice. Um, you can't go wrong with it. It's super easy to set up. You get the get icons as well. Creating new files is still like with A and then delete with D and then rename with R, uh, but it's really nice. I love how you have these indicators. So when I copy over a new file, see these two as the copy the symbol there and then paste. There we go. Well, let's go here outside maybe and paste it here. So I'll grab the oil paste and there we go and I can still search here if I want to so I can do oil like that Oof, this file's on track because I have the question mark delete boom uh, but oil just feels fun so I want to actually kind of experiment with that a little bit more uh, but if I had to pick one out of these that I would recommend people to start with would probably be neo tree for sure I actually found another one. How can there is one Neo tree and there's one Envim tree? Did you know that? There's actually two different, same, same, but different. Um, honestly, I can't tell the difference between this other than the X symbol here, see? And where it shows the get icons is set there rather than here in front. But other than that, it kind of feels the same. If I create a new file, it pops up here instead of the sidebar. So if I do test TXT, and there it is. And then it kind of works the same way. Delete, yes. Um, yeah. So moving forward, Yahtzee, it goes away. Bye. Next up, oil. Guess what? You're the new main character. Activate. Neo tree, really good. Actually, really, really impressed with this. Highly likely. It. If you liked it, I can recommend it. But be gone. Mini files. Get out of here. All right, there we go. We are going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. Let me know what else should I have a look at next and uh, what's going to help me here to make this really, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this little episode and I'll catch you in the next one.